consulting duties as a member of parliament and parliamentary secretary to the prime minister can present an interesting set of challenges, but it doesn't seem to face conservative MP Paul Calandra. He's focused on the job at hand and representing his constituents in Oak Ridge's Markham in Ontario. He welcomes CPAC to his riding, shares some highlights, and talks about his responsibilities. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. MP Paul Calandra is hosting his third annual pancake lunch at his constituency office in Stouffville. Elected to the House of Commons in 2008, it's one of the many ways he shows appreciation to the people he represents. What is truly clear and what we've heard over the summer is how important it is that the government continues to focus on jobs and the economy. That's First and foremost, though, I do represent the Prime Minister in the House of Commons, and I have to make sure that I honour uh, the trust that the Prime Minister has put in me. And then when I'm back in the riding, I have to make sure that I honour the trust that the voters put in me. The former insurance broker who once served as chief of staff for a provincial conservative member in Ontario's Mike Harris government was appointed parliamentary secretary in September 2013. Being parliamentary secretary to the uh, Prime Minister and to the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs gives me an opportunity, obviously, to interact uh, very closely with both the Prime Minister and, uh, and the Minister. And he's been making headlines in recent months for some of his unexpected responses during question period, garnering a lot of criticism. When people are criticizing me based on, on, a, on a policy issue, they have differences of opinion on, on policy or, or, or they haven't liked what I have said, I have no problem with that. I think where I, I try to draw the line uh, uh, is with respect to often, um, you know, I get criticism that is, is, is almost violent in nature uh, and completely uh, inappropriate. But he's not phased by the backlash. For the most part, it's unfortunately my staff that have to, uh, uh, to read the emails first. Uh, they get the emails, and we're getting about five to 600 emails uh, a day after question period. Uh, and Twitter, um, obviously, uh, explosive. He rarely reads comments on Twitter, but says he reads most of the emails he gets and takes everything in stride. Constructive criticism, people who don't like uh, some of the things I'm saying on policy, fair game. Uh, that's to be expected. I'm always cognizant of the fact that although 46,000 people voted for me, uh, 30,000 didn't. Calandra prefers to focus on addressing issues that matter to the voters. Well, first and foremost, I think like most Canadians, obviously, it's jobs and economy. As you cruise around the riding, you can see there's uh, a lot of, uh, of young families here. It's a, it's a young, uh, very young riding. Uh, a lot of uh, first-time homeowners. So obviously, jobs and, and the economy weighs on everybody's mind. Located about 40 minutes north of Toronto, the ethnically diverse riding is a mix of urban and rural. It covers about 680 square kilometers and is made up of several distinct communities. 41% of the population are immigrants. An urban riding this close to a major center, Toronto, obviously, it is a very, very big riding. Uh, a very unique in the sense that uh, it is the largest riding in terms of population, so there's uh, over 250,000 people uh, in this riding. Some of the many landmarks and places of note in the riding, Markham Stouffville Hospital, Markham Museum, the University of Toronto's Koffler Scientific Reserve at Jokers Hill, downtown Stouffville, where you'll find the historic clock tower, Leibovic Centre for Arts and Entertainment, 19 on the park. There's also quite a bit of history in the building that houses Calandra's constituency office. Built in 1885, the designated heritage home is set to be the first in Stouffville to get indoor plumbing. Yeah, it's a great old house. It uh, used to be uh, the town veterinarian's home built uh, uh, in the late 1800s. Uh, uh, really a great uh, great place. We use it not only as a, as a constituency office, but as a, as a meeting place for the, uh, the entire town. I think I'm uh, uh, a very lucky member of Parliament to have a place like this that I can share with, uh, with the community. And sharing quality time with his wife and two daughters is a priority as well. Earlier, ahead of his pancake lunch, he highlighted some of the many events he hosts to bring the community together. What we want to try to do is bring people uh, uh, to us so that they can see what we're doing. And not just have it be that when you have a problem and when you have an issue with the government that you come to see us, but give people an opportunity to, uh, uh, to interact with us in a more casual and, uh, and fun setting. Next, Calandra joins members of the Filipino community of Stouffville at a fundraising event for victims of Typhoon Haiyan. I understand uh, from uh, 
uh, from a number of Filipino Canadians that I've had the opportunity to meet with that $3,000 will build a home in the Philippines for somebody who has lost their home. Uh, so we can make a very big difference, and it's events like this that will help make, uh, make that difference. Later at the Markham Convention Center, he's joined by his conservative colleague, Don Valley East MP Joe Daniel. They're here for the annual Silver Bells event put on by the Sri Lankan community. Calandra addresses the crowd and brings greetings from the Prime Minister. Uh, as far as this community goes, there is no more successful community in Canadian history when it comes to immigration to this country than your community. Earlier, he reflected on some of the greatest rewards of his role. Focusing on the things that the community has wanted and being able to actually uh, deliver uh, has been spectacular. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful uh, for every day that I have, uh, have this opportunity, and uh, I'm going to enjoy every, every second of it.